what's going on my peeps coming right back at you again very blessed y'all very blessed and I'm praying all of y'all is blessed too um you know I want to talk to y'all about you know being trapped and being free you know sometime uh the enemy make us feel like we trapped he try to you know confuse us or trick us into thinking that we trapped when in all actuality we free, we just got, you know, certain obstacles and stuff around us in front of us, you know, preventing us from getting where we need to get to. But once we break down the barriers, you know, we back on the other side of freedom, you know, and this, you know, this world and this society, you know, and, and man's laws and the way they try to do things, you know, it oftentimes it makes us feel like, you know, we under a lot of pressure, you know, like we got walls around us. So um, I call this poem uh, Trap Versus Freedom. And um, basically in this poem, I kind of touch bases on the streets. And at the same time, I touch bases a little bit on what I was feeling the day I wrote it. And then um, as I was getting ready to record this, a rhyme from like middle school ran across my head. And I told my wife about it. She told me to throw that in too. So this is going to be a real unique piece right here, you know, that I'm putting together. And uh, just so much been going on, y'all. I'm blessed. Um, I was real stressed out about the transfer situation. We got all our stuff packed up now. We pretty much ready to get up out of here. You know, I got the, the call the other day. You know, they cleared me for the position, you know, in Anaheim. So we get ready to head out of here for Cali. And uh, I'm just praying that stuff work out, that it go smooth, you know. And I'm thankful for the blessing, you know. But at the same time, y'all already know, I'm trying to branch off, you know. I'm trying to blow this poetry up, you know. I'm asking God to touch this. You know, that's my altar. My altar, what's the word? What's that word, babe, when they say alter ego? I want, no, ulterior. Ulterior motive, right? Yeah. yeah, that's my ulterior motive, you know, is to um, go out there and pop this poetry and promote my wife's book. That's what I really want to do. But, you know, one step at a time, y'all. But, um, again, this poem is called Trap Versus Freedom. And it look like I'm sweating a little bit because the oven on, heating up some uh, tamales. But um, y'all check this out real quick. Trap Versus Freedom. This is what came out, y'all. What's the definition of a trap? Is it being stuck, feeling like crap? Does it feel like time is running out? Trapped behind decisions of those who have clout? My pop said patience is a virtue. No need to rush like we got a curfew. Thank God for inspiration. I'm trying to make a mark for my generation. Do you know the secret to your freedom? You got to ask for it when you seek them. Everything is subject to his kingdom. But I often wonder why the good and blessed is mixed with the corrupt and unjust. These days you need a helmet and a vest. Streets filled with AKs and killers that put you to the test. You wonder why you call a dope house a trap. That's how they get you in that concentration camp. We used to play with toys made of plastic. And some toys made from elastic. Now we play a game called close the casket. How did our lives become so tragic? We used to play a game called spiders and flies. Now we live in it, corrupted by Satan's lies. We are the spiders. We are the flies. We come to get you. You just try. And it's been on ever since. Don't you dare ask why. Growing up, I was good at the game. But today, it just ain't the same. Just don't let the spider catch you in a trap. Because once your soul is gone, it's a wrap. And that's just my little piece, y'all. I call it Trap versus Freedom. And um, that was a real game that we played in elementary school. You know, i never forget that. Um, basically, it would be almost the entire class would play the Spiders. And it would probably be about five or six kids would play the Flies. No, I'm sorry. It's the other way around. Five or six kids would be the spiders, and the entire rest of the class would be um, the flies. And these six kids would have to catch, you know, each and every one of the other um, students. 
And once they caught them, they would have to go sit down, you know. And I never forget, I used to be like the last person in the game. Matter of fact, many times I was the last person in the game because I was quick on my feet, you know. But now it's a different game. It's a spiritual game, you know. It's a spiritual warfare, actually. And um, that's what this is about, man. I'm just, I'm blessed. Whatever y'all got going on, just know that you're not trapped in this world. That you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And um, just keep it, keep it pushing, y'all. Keep it moving. Don't stop. Don't stop till the casket drop. Y'all have a blessed one.